though what's going on no pre-order gang and toxic gamers today we ended up getting our very first look at the next battlefield game i cannot even believe it man i'm shocked as you guys as well because apparently the other day ea ended up revealing the concept art for the next battlefield game and they confirmed that it is happening that it is coming out and now they have revealed two more images that i will show you in this video as well as this gameplay demo play test whatever you want to call it footage for the next battlefield game and uh, they have done similar thing for Battlefield 2042 and for all the previous games. Like the video if you just want a good game, man. Dislike the video if you don't want a good game and you want this. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes, operator. I want to know where you guys at, man. I just want to know. All right, let's get down to it, man. Shout out to the homie Jack Frags as well. Shout out to you guys all here for absolutely killing it. And you guys have been liking, subscribing, and going crazy. I absolutely appreciate it all of you guys for following on the instagram as well uh, links are always in the description and in the pinned comment if you do use instagram i would definitely love to have you there all right let's get to the content here boo boo roll it what you're looking at here might be the first glimpse of what guns are going to look like animations and gameplay mechanics in the new battlefield game a couple days ago ea announced a new game it's going to be modern in a huge interview with vince ampella from respawn however yesterday okay. ea had something called an investor's day and this was a three-hour presentation investors and in that day. presentation the new battlefield game was mentioned several times they showed two new pieces of concept art Three hours of glazing the investors. Oh yeah, we love it. This footage here, which we'll get into in a second, and there was a load more details about the game and Wait when we're going to potentially be able to play it. And this was really surprising. I did not expect it to be so soon. The context yeah. of the video you're seeing here is that hypothetically, a user has generated a level using a new EA tool and they're running around on it playing. You, you know, honestly, like if you ever were to get like a map creator in Battlefield, that would be dope though. Like the video if you actually agree. And the fact that we're getting all of this information maybe it's a maybe though we don't know right because normally i guess the battle a battlefield game comes out by the end of the year and it has been said and rumored for this game to be coming out by the end of next year but i wouldn't be shocked if it comes out like mid uh 2025 right and i hope it does because you know by the end of 2025 we're getting gta 6 and if this game wants to come out at the same time as gta 6 it is over for this game so either it comes out before gta 6 or it comes out like two three months after let me know what your thoughts on it because if it comes out at the same time it's not gonna be too good for uh for ea fellas a 1v1 deathmatch against a friend to demonstrate they showed this and i think this is running on the frostbite engine and these are assets and animations from the new battlefield ea don't have any other modern military fps games these aren't models that are in bf2042 as far as i know so why would they bother building this all from scratch when they can just yeah. take it from the new game that they're building and if you look at the weapons themselves we've got an m4 some delineation there maybe an m4a1 and what looks like an 870 shotgun incredibly highly detailed models i love the scuffs and scratches on them and this seems to fit with the gritty bf3 bf4 yeah! hey, hey, hey. whoa whoa hey tranquilo papi Yo, man, it does, but I don't don't get my hopes up, man. I don't want to get my hopes up because the last time this said Battlefield 2042 is going to be like BF3, BF4 on steroids, bro. We ended up getting that don't be sad specialist, man. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. So I don't want to get my hopes up this time, son. I want, the I want this game to be like Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. Don't get me wrong, but is it really going to be... I don't know, the man. battlefield announced a couple days ago we see a grenade being thrown to at some point a little bit of destruction but something to know about the animations here i don't know if anyone's picked up on this and it might just be that it's not in this particular instance of the game that they were playing here but when the characters are sprinting they're not tactical sprinting tactical sprinting that's in 2042 it's a faster sprint where you put your gun up and you run really quick they're not yeah, doing like that here that, like that, that says to me that this could be a gameplay choice because as i mentioned they're trying to go back to that bf3 bf4 feel a bit slower paced a bit heavier and weightier it makes me think about Portal too. Are they going to integrate this kind of technology into Portal where if you want to, there's an option that you can just describe something and it will- Yeah, honestly, Portal uh, Portal is a good idea. Definitely bring it back. Take its best shot at building it and then you can add to it, tweak it, whatever. So that's the first new thing that we saw. The second okay. thing, two pieces of concept art. I'm going to look at these now. This is the first one. I got this from the EA Investors Call website. The whole presentation's on there and you can download the individual JPEGs and PNGs and video files, whatever. It's all on there. And immediately, I'm looking at this thinking, okay, it's giving me... Oh man, like this is looking good, bro. Like this is actually looking like that. It, it kind of gives me that vibe. You know, uh, whenever they first uh, reveal, uh, it has that back to Karkin vibe as well. Uh, and also when they reveal Battlefield 3 campaign gameplay all the way back in, I don't, I, I don't, I don't remember, like 2010, something like that, right? Sheesh, man, like it's been a decade plus, bro. Like, could you imagine? Oh, shit. Like, were you there? Let me know, man. Did, did you get to play Battlefield 3 at launch? I did. I, I remember, like, I pre-ordered the game online uh, back in the good glory days, man. I, I remember pre-ordering it online 
and I ended up getting like a day early. Like they shipped it a day early. I was like, ah, uh, ah, uh, what? And I remember Battlefield 3 was my, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that was my first ever game that I pre-ordered online on the internet. And the fact that I was able to get that game a day early, that was absolutely insane. And ever since then, I never got a game early if I was to pre-order. If I ever pre-order online, I never got it early, right? But that was the only game that I did get a day early, which was crazy. So I remember playing it when there were just a couple of people playing uh, on the servers. And my first ever match was a squad rush on... Uh, I don't remember the map name, but if I see the image, I'll probably be able to uh, recognize it. But yeah right so when they reveal the campaign footage there's a you know you're shooting the gun towards the end and then there's an earthquake right you take down the the building goes down right i'm not talking battlefield 4 i'm talking battlefield 3 so yeah it it, it has that vibe it has that vibe black hawk down vibe it's giving me strike at cock and maybe a bit of golf of yeah. man got a soldier here with a weapon helicopter landing soldier underneath smoke plumes some kind of sandbag reinforced window here with lots of destruction love seeing that could just be set dressing but Maybe there's some kind of build back mechanic in the game. You know how we had fortifications in BF5? If something's destroyed, perhaps you can add a bit. This time we better get like real destruction, man. Of cover to it, like sandbags. The helicopter here, I think it's a UH 60. Yeah. It kind of looks weird though. I don't know, are these like landing supports or something? They might have some copyright issues and they can't make it look exactly the same, but from the front, it kind of yeah. looks like a UH 60. Or, or maybe like this is a, a microtransaction upgrade that you gotta buy for $20 each. Just Never a bit know. weird. But as Vince was talking about when he did that Hopefully interview not. with IGN, this looks like a dense urban environment, which he mentioned several times. And mm, mm, I think mm, a lot of people want this kind of Battlefield game back with this oh, type of yeah. map design. So oh, this is definitely yeah. leaning in the right direction, in my opinion. This was the second one that they showed that we've not seen before. Just big picture. We've got some tanks. We've got some jets here. So jets confirmed, perhaps, for the next game. Some more tanks in the field here going across the open land. Big urban environment over here. And what looks like Yay! missiles being fired Yay! into the sky. I'm not sure what this was. It kind of wow. looks like uh, MLRS. You know, the thing that the missiles come out of. But it's at a weird angle. So maybe it's just a bit of wreckage or the remainder of a house or truck or something. I'm not sure. But it could be artillery. Oh, man. The hype. The hype is real, guys. The hype is real. <laughs> Listen, man. This does look good, bro. I had to agree. This does look good. We got jets. We got tanks. We got fire explosions rockets and all that bruh like i i really hope this time it's the one man but wait for it guys wait for it. but based on what they were saying about the multiplayer maps being smaller and more dense i would assume that this is from campaign because this area here this massive open plane that's not good for a battlefield map is it that's terrible do you recall bf3 open, as well yeah. it had a level called thunder run where you played yeah, yeah, as yeah. captain miller and you had the mm. dinosaur and you control the m1 abrams and you go across the desert and you attack a couple of positions eventually you end up in a town it might be that this is a single player level that has a similar kind of vibe to that where you're a tank commander. But I'm not sure if this is multiplayer. Don't think it is. Yo, when do you think they're actually gonna drop its trailer? Do you think that they're gonna reveal it like by the end of the year completely? Do you think it's gonna be early next year? I do believe that it can be early next year or perhaps I think it's a given that we're gonna see no matter what we're gonna see the gameplay reveals like next year summertime because uh, uh, yeah around e3 i mean e3 is never gonna happen rip uh rip e3 guys rip e3 <laughs> rip to e3 in the comments below because uh, but summer game fest is replacing it so yeah and even battlefield 2042 was revealed in june right i know like they were hyping it up like seconds were like hey where's the trailer where's the trailer where's the trailer but june, uh, yeah i guess june july that's a like, given that's when we're gonna see gameplay trailer might be around like may ish time right that's a, that's not a normal year but you guys gotta understand that the fact that they're hyping it up this early and they're revealing like uh, you know stuff footage images like that this early and knowing the fact this is a big one here folks i want everybody on this one immediately and i got another clip that i want to share with you so wait for it but the fact that gta 6 is coming out next year you know that changes that changes everything and the fact that we're gonna be having another call of duty game call of duty game comes out every year like so it's like whatever right but next year we're hearing that it's gonna be a black ops 2 remake oh, shit. Oh. yeah that's a rumor that's a rumor meaning that it's gonna have black ops 2 remaster maps alongside new maps that's what we're hearing it's gonna be similar to how modern warfare 3 2023 was last year with like remaster maps for modern warfare 2 and new maps right so that's what we're hearing gonna happen so next year is gonna be busy folks and uh yeah we should be getting some xbox games some playstation games some this game and that game 
Hopefully it's not gonna be like Concord or anything like that. Hopefully it's gonna be better than Concord. I'm talking about like the games that PlayStation and Xbox are gonna drop in the future. But the big three, GTA, Call of Duty, and Battlefield all happening in the same year unless GTA 6 gets delayed to 2026, which so far they're saying they're not gonna delay, but knowing their track record, it can always get delayed, right? So I think it's gonna be, uh, they're in a tough spot, right? Like same goes for Call of Duty and Battlefield and all the games that are gonna be, that are thinking about releasing by the end of next year. Because if your game is coming out by the end of the next uh, next year, you know GTA 6 is also coming out by the end of next year, fall. So fall starts like September, right? So if GTA 6 was to come out in September, we're like a year away, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Think about it this way, we're just a year away from GTA 6. But of course, uh, fall doesn't mean September only. Fall, it's it gonna last till November if I'm not mistaken, right? Like uh, Google the correct definition of the word fall or when it starts, when it ends. I believe it ends uh, in November or October, give or take, right? I believe it's November, not necessarily December, but you never know is what I'm saying. So uh, usually Call of Duty and Battlefield games come out October-ish, right? early november but latish october sometimes early october as well so that's like the time frame for call of duty and battlefield generally speaking knowing that call of duty ended up releasing back in 2018 i'm talking black ops 4 knowing black ops 4 released a month early because red dead redemption 2 was coming out yeah my point exactly so i wouldn't be shocked if they drop it early right and I really hope either they drop it early, like let's just say like early next year or late, uh, not late, but like mid 2025, that would be way better than releasing it at the same time. Or I don't want to see it be like coming out early 2026, but okay, like it, don't, my point is that don't drop it at the same time as GTA 6, man. Sega's so just gonna be playing GTA 6, bro. Of course, like, some of you guys are, guys are gonna be playing both. Some of you just gonna be playing Battlefield. But that's gonna be, like, very few people, right? And, and generally speaking, if you're a fan of this franchise and you wanna see it succeed, don't release it at the same time as GTA 6. You feel me? Agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments. Yes, but Wait for it. Thanks, look cool. Missile streaking into the sky. is a big explosion here, too. Perhaps there'll be some kind of call-ins in the multiplayer. You know how we had the, the V1s in BFI that you could call in and make some giant explosions, artillery, that kind of thing. Perhaps that's back. Huge plumes of smoke here too. Good cover. Explosions. Who knows? Yeah, good cover, the next good news, cover. I think, Brand. is arguably the most important thing because I think that it signals a change in philosophy for the Battlefield franchise, a change in management, a change in how they're going forward with things, especially starting with this game. Yes, it's just words. Yes, these are for investors. Don't pre-order all that stuff. But this next bit is important because it's regarding when you're going to be able to play the game, test it, feedback, community involvement. And it sounds like it's going to be pretty soon. Here's what Byron Beattie said. That's the guy on the screen now. And he's the group general manager for Battlefield. Our teams live a, via a culture of rapid iteration to find great gameplay. That's Vince's hallmark. Prototyping, playtesting, getting feedback, and repeating that loop over and over and over again. It's one of our most fundamental philosophies, and it's being incorporated through every area of Battlefield. We're obsessed with finding the fun. Now, well, I would love to show you what we've been working on with Battlefield. We have a philosophy on Battlefield to put our community first. But what you can be sure of is we're building a connected universe set in the modern day for players filled with battlefield experiences. All Let's of them built. Let's go! Let's go! Let's. <laughs> yeah, we try. Whatever he said, like, oh man, we take feedback for the community from the community. We we care for our community. All that bull squash, man. Uh, but but maybe this time they are gonna. Maybe this time they are gonna because they don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. Specialists didn't work that well in the last game, so they really gotta listen to their fan base this time. I hope they are, man, because this is their last chance. Because, guys, listen, man, I don't want to be like a bearer of bad news, but uh, knowing what happened with Medal of Honor, knowing we're talking about EA, knowing what happened with Medal of Honor, bruh, if this game turns out to be trash, if this game doesn't do well, I wouldn't be shocked if the EA shut this one down too, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And then Call of Duty, I mean, even even Battlefield cannot destroy Call of Duty, which is just ridiculous at this point, right? Because even back when Battlefield 1 came out, Battlefield 1 was amazing, bro. Like, holy crap, that game was amazing. Even though that was World War 1 and, uh, you know, there's fatigue with old school uh, FPS games right now. Uh, when I say old school, I mean not old school, old school. I mean, like, the games that are set are... That are set in like dinosaurs times and in the old time zones timelines i should say not time zones timelines at least right now like there's a lot of fatigue because we had seen so many world war ii shooters and exactly right so uh, people 
are just craving for something modern, something good. Not for modern audience, but something just modern. You feel me? Like the video if you just want a modern game. <laughs> Dislike the video if you want a modern game for modern audiences, man. I wanna know where you are. I wanna know where you are. Built with our unique DNA. I also want to share with you that internally, we've been playing the game nearly daily for well over a year. Oh, wow. In oh, support wow. of this playtesting, we've also prioritized what we call our Keep Green initiative. This means we're focused on software stability, so that the game is always playable, always available for playtesting. That means for us, more iteration cycles. In addition to this internal testing cycles, we're already testing with players, and we plan to introduce a new large-scale community-driven testing program early next year. Now that's going to give us significantly more feedback on gameplay, performance, and fun factor. So a couple things to unpack there. Next the year, biggest, early obviously, next year. early next year, January, February, that's what early. Yeah, maybe even March, right? Like till March, that's early. So if the play test is going to happen, then I think it's going to be private, right? It's going to be closed play test. Holy crap. Uh, but that's probably, uh, okay, add two more months in it. Does that mean that they're going to reveal the game before the play test or are they going to reveal it after the play test? That's going to be, yeah, that's interesting, right? Because if they reveal the game before the play test, that means by the end of this year, oh, shit. Oh, right? Give or take November, December, we got the reveal. I don't think if, I don't think they're going to do it, right? But you see next year we're getting GTA 6. So that changes stuff. That does change stuff. The next year is to me, they're going to be running large scale community driven or if they're not gonna do uh, if they're not gonna do a reveal, then early playtest happen. Yeah, like you said, early next year. So till March, then two two months later, May, July, June ish, May to July, they reveal trailers, gameplays, and all that. August would be like the beta ish, right? August September beta, and then the game comes out October. Yeah, sounds normal. Sounds uh, logical. That's how these games works. Uh, and has been working for years, right? But this time we're getting Battlefield, so stuff do change. And the fact that they're starting to reveal and market this game this early, it tells me that two things, right? They know they fumbled the bag, so they need to get back to their audience. So that's why they're doing it. Or number two, the game is in a good spot. And uh, maybe it's going to be a good one, good game this time. So they're like, let's hype it up this early because they're confident. I want to know where you guys are at with it. Testing. This is really interesting to me because it sounds kind of like the CTE, which we had for BF4. And there's no doubt that the CTE, the community test environment, helped turn that game around. I seem to recall they did it a little bit with Hardline as well, maybe some BF1 too. However, they've not done anything like it since, and nothing on the same scale that the BF4 CTE was. And more importantly, they've never done it before releasing the base game. That seems like the difference here, and this seems super early in general, right? Typically, yeah. they announce the new game in May or June, there's a beta in September, and then it releases at the end of October or November. That's how most of the Battlefield yeah, releases have yeah, worked yeah, exactly, from my memory. Exactly. So it's a pretty quick turnaround from reveal to release, just a few months. And most of the time, betas, let's be honest, they just demos. Yeah, they get data from them, but nothing significant really ever changes, right, from beta to release if it's just, just a month or two. So this community testing going out there early next year, and there's not even a release date for the game yet. That says to me that they're pretty confident about the- uh, Tom Henderson said it, I believe, last year that this game is uh, scheduled for by the end of 2025. And I believe he said it like last year or a couple of months ago. So I think he was spot on. And that's how it feels like. Even right now, it feels like that it's going to come out by the end of next year. But I wouldn't be shocked if it comes out mid-2025. The product that eventually they'll put on the shelves and sell. But it also shows that they're willing to be more transparent, take on some critical feedback, and make sure that by the time this game releases, if it is October, yeah. November next year, hopefully this community testing program has been running for several months. They've ironed out most of the bugs, fixed any game-breaking issues, sorted out any glaring balance. Ah, oh, man, they got all that destruction here. I hope there is destruction in the game. I hope we're not getting catfish again. I hope they're not cock blocking us this time either. Concerns with the game. And in theory, because of that, the game will be good to go on launch. And hopefully it makes a strong first impression. I think they know now that they can't mess this up. This is one of the last they chances can. that Battlefield yeah. is going to have. So I'm impressed that they've changed how they operate and they're actually doing this. I think that's cool. And it feels different to the last few releases at least. Will it be though? I don't know. As I always say, the proof is in the pudding. They've got to deliver. Aside from that, there was even more new information about the game. There are four studios working on it. We already knew that. They did go into more detail about what exactly each of those studios is doing. So DICE, they're the creators of Battlefield, and they're going to be leading the charge on multiplayer. Yeah. Criterion Games, they're going to be working on content and experiences for single player oh, wow. and multiplayer. They also said that Criterion Games are now a fully integrated studio for Battlefield. Motive, they've got a... So does that mean that they're not going to work on Need for Speed now? Yeah, that, that's like, that's wild, right? Because uh, I, I think... 
that's probably because the Need for Speed wasn't selling too well. I could be wrong. I didn't buy Need for Speed. I never kept up with Need for Speed ever since like Hot Pursuit on like the PS3 days. So that yeah, I know those are dinosaurs time right now. Those are dinosaurs times for a lot of people. But Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on PS3 and the online Cops and Robbers was one of the best mode ever, man. I love that. How many of you guys played that? A history in single player and storytelling so i assume they're just going to be campaign and then ripple effect which used to be dice la they're working on this new battlefield experience fueled by the battlefield dna they say and apparently mm -hmm. it's testing well with players it's easy to assume that that's going to be a battle royale and then yeah, there's yeah. some stats thrown into the mix as well if you're interested in these battlefield as a franchise has over 5 billion hours played now 100 million players and over the past 12 months battlefield experiences have been played for a total of 250 yeah that's laura laura miel right like uh, she was uh, saying battlefield 2042 you remember I, I don't fully remember but uh from memory i recall battlefield 2042 was the most complete or feature complete or something like that you know there are some marching lines i remember right like hey man the game is in very good condition some bull squash like that bro Th this thing is gonna pull the same thing this time and people not gonna believe it but what if it's uh, yeah i don't even want to entertain the idea of what if but i just hope that it's a good game bro million hours aside from that at the end of this presentation there was a q a i watched the whole three hours i didn't have a bit of time to burn last night and there was one question about battlefield and laura merely answered that to summarize she said that she thought it was the right time for the potential in the battlefield franchise right now the interest and demand in the shooter market is very strong in how it's evolved and changed people are looking for these massive scale battles instead bigger maps with vehicles involved too and she said that battlefield meshes well with that and if they continue to invest in the right places with the focus development of the game they'll be able to maximize the potential of the brand so there it is i really hope they do not invest in don't be sad this is just how it works out sometimes but guys check out this video on the screen insane drama with like uh, dr disrespect mr beast ksi logan paul the youtuber scene is completely chalked right now check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left man crazy stuff boys crazy